Hey guys, Pastor Rich Witter here at Life Point Church in Homestead, Florida. Everybody knows there's a lot happening in our world, but we want to bring you up to date with what's happening here at Life Point Church for the next few weeks. We're people of honor and respect. We're not people of fear. We've been asked by some local officials and of course our national leaders that we would pause our gatherings for the upcoming weeks. Uh, because we're people of honor and responsibility, we want to do that. As hard as it is to, to break apart from our, our weekly gatherings here on Old Dixie Highway in Homestead, we are going to go inside. Now, we're online every week, but we're asking that you would join us on Facebook for a special service time of 11 o'clock for our English services. We'll have our 2 o'clock at Spanish. You'll be able to interact with us there. It's going to be a great time. There's a few things that you can do in anticipation for Sunday. First thing is this, pray. You should be praying all the time. The Bible says pray without ceasing, right? So this shouldn't be something new, but maybe it is. Maybe it's something new that you're actually pushing into this and, and moving in a continual life of prayer. The second thing is have a life of devotion. Yes, you individually, but also with your family. Gather your kids if you have killed, your husband, uh, whatever, your wife. Gra grab them, get together, open God's word and see what he has to say to you as a family. The third thing is that you can be expected. When you do that, when you gather and you seek God, he is always there. He always moves and we always leave when we encounter him. I'm excited about that. You can help us here at LifePoint Church by continuing to give. You can do that on all of our platforms, the website or our app. And if you have any prayer requests, you can also leave those there. We want to stay connected with you through this season. And I'm so thankful that God has provided social media at this time that we can stay connected. Listen, reach out to your neighbors. Maybe you have somebody who's next to you who's elderly who can't get out, who, who needs some bottled water or some food. You can help with that. Let's, let's practically demonstrate the love of Jesus Christ in this season. In just a few weeks, we're going to get back together again. And I believe that if we've done everything we can individually and in our corporate families, that when we come back to this venue on that day, God is going to blow the roof off the place. He's going to blow our minds with something incredible. And we'll look forward to seeing you very soon. Grace and peace. God bless.